but we have made it. The Ultramarine, our beautiful ship, is right here. And geez, it is a absolute beauty. We're so excited to be here. <laughs> what is this place? Oh my goodness. So the Ultramarine is Quark's newest ship. It is a purpose-built pole exploration ship. We're gonna do a full-on ship tour and give you guys a view of everything that they have here on board. We have just checked into our room and it is incredible. It Unreal. is mind-blowing. I did not expect the room to be this nice on the ship. Please show us around. This is the bed! So soft! On every Quark Expeditions trip, you get these big parkers, waterproof and weatherproof parkers, which are yours to keep. You get to keep these after the trip is finished, which is pretty cool. It's a very nice souvenir. And over here, we've got a couch. Yes, we've got a couch so we can relax, maybe have a cup of tea or a coffee in the morning. Then after this, we have a work desk, which I'm sure this Soon we'll be covered in all our camera gear, laptops, and all that stuff, hard drives. I just found the fridge. If you do need the fridge, there's a fridge. Next, you ready? Ooh, how do I open this? Whoa! We have a balcony. What? Look at this. Our own balcony. So while we're sailing along, we can be out here, have a little look around, get some fresh air. Maybe sit on the seats here. Well, there is one last thing. What? The bathroom. Yes. Let's go to the bathroom. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh wow. This is like an actual giant shower. Like. Wow. I put my arms across the whole way. Oh my gosh, it's got a rain shower. All right, so this shower is huge. Rain showers are very luxurious. And it's very large. Lots of storage for your toiletries. Heaps of storage up there. And some down below too. There's some drawers down here. So you can put your stuff away that you don't really need. A couple of drawers here. Oh, it's got a hairdryer as well. So you don't need to bring a hairdryer. Lots of storage. Lots of storage. These are all storage cupboards. So this is where you can put your bags, hang your clothes up everything like that. There is so much storage. You get robes, you get little slippers, and the last one. There is more storage and there's a safe. The Ultramarine has 11 different types of cabins on board and each one of them is classed as some of the best in the industry. There are comfortable private rooms for single travelers right through to enormous multi-room suites. So no matter what style you like to travel in, you'll find a cabin that's perfect for you. got back to our room and our bags Back. are here. Yay! So they made it from Iceland all the way to Greenland and then were automatically transferred to the ship for us. So we didn't have to pick them up at the airport here in Greenland. They just appeared like magic here in Yay. our room. So happy days and everything is in order. Uh, we've got about 10 minutes before we have to go to the mandatory safety briefing. So we'll go and check that out. We'll do a little bit of filming there. And then we do the parker and boot exchange. So because Quark Expedition supply your parkers and your waterproof boots, you just gotta make sure they fit, of course. So we're gonna try them on now. And if they don't fit, we can go and swap them out for a different size later. Welcome to the Ambassador Lounge on Deck 5 of the Ultramarine. This is one of the most important rooms here on the ship because this is where all the safety briefings happen, where the staff give their excellent presentations and also where people gather to have a little bit of a dance party at the end of every voyage. There is a big TV at the front as well as a whole bunch of other LCD TVs on all the walls. So no matter where you're sitting in this large room, you have a great view of what's being shown up on the presentation. And just like every good lounge, there is even a fully stocked bar here. So when you are down here watching the presentations, if you're feeling a little bit thirsty, you can grab a drink as well. 
Welcome to the Panorama Lounge. Now it's pretty quiet right now, but if you come back in a few hours, you'll find out why this is the most popular room on the entire ship. Not only do you have these incredible panoramic windows all around the lounge, overlooking the polar regions that you were sailing through. You also have plenty of places to kick back and relax with couches and chairs. There are binoculars for bird watching. There is a fully stocked bar. There is a library and you have great access to the bow of the ship as well. So when you have those amazing wildlife encounters and epic polar sunsets, you'll find everybody drink in hand standing out on the deck. Tip top, top of the world. Welcome to the first of two restaurants here on board the Ultramarine. This is the Bellina restaurant and this is where most of the guests will come to have their breakfast, lunch and dinner. It is a beautiful room with huge panoramic windows overlooking the entire landscapes as you're sailing through the polar regions. You can either join a large group table and make some friends with your fellow guests or if you want something a little bit more intimate, they also have double setups as well. chance that you may put on a little bit of weight while you're here on board because the food is just so good and you will offer dessert after every meal so luckily there is a gym on the ultramarine let's go check it out As you can see, the gym here is fully stocked. They have bike machines, they have rowing machines, they have treadmills and a full weight setup. So if you're the kind of person who likes to keep fit while you're on holiday, burn some calories, lift some weights, this is the place to do it. So here on the Old Marine, they have an area called Tundra, which is the spa. There are some relaxation areas, massage tables, so you can book in for a spa treatment. They got these lovely areas where you can just lounge back and enjoy the huge panoramic views. You can enjoy the sauna and look out at the views as well. Oh. Feel that heat coming up there. Quark Expeditions are all about sustainability and minimizing the waste on board. So they've installed these filtered water stations all over the ultramarine. So you can just bring your water bottle up here, fill up anytime you need. This here is the ready room, and there are two ready rooms here on the Ultramarine. This is a place where all the guests will come down, get changed into their wet weather gear, put their muck boots on, their jackets and their waterproof pants, and then be ready to head on out and explore the land excursions and the Zodiac cruises that you can do here on Ultramarine. They have PFDs down here, which are only for the Zodiacs. They also have separate PFDs or personal flotation devices for the helicopters as well. But this is where you keep them down here. And the great thing about having the separate ready rooms from the rest of the ship is that you can contain all the mud and the water and the mess that you may collect out there on shore to this one place and you're not trekking it all the way through the ship. And of course, there are quarantine stations and cleaning stations for your boots and your gear before you get in here as well. When you get your room key, there is also a locker number stuck on there as well. And the idea behind that is you are given one locker for the entire voyage and you're not gonna be mixing and matching your gear with the people next to you. So when you get that number, that's your little box where everything is kept. And if you're feeling tired at the end of the day or you just don't feel like going up those steps again, there are two elevators which can take you to every single floor here on the ship. One of the great things about traveling to the polar regions is that you get to keep your memories as well through photographs and videos. And here on board the Ultramarine, there are these photographic journal areas where you can come and upload your footage to these computers and they are then shared with all the guests after the trip. There's also a photographer in residence on every trip here with Clark Expeditions and they're out there shooting some professional photos so you're going to get some great memories even if you haven't been snapping any yourself. 
If you're looking to pick up some souvenirs from your incredible adventure, the Polar Boutique on the Ultramarine is your one-stop shop for gifts to bring back home. Besides souvenirs, they also stock a huge selection of warm clothing, SD cards and even camera gear. So if you've accidentally forgotten to bring something on your trip, you can pick it up at the Polar Boutique. Deck 5 is where you'll find the wraparound deck offering 360 degree views from the ship. It's perfect if you want to do some laps or if you can't decide which side of the ship you want to be on when you have icebergs going by on one side and mountains on the other, you can just come down to deck 5 and you can bounce between each side. Four full-size lifeboats here on board the Ultramarine, which will allow all the guests, crew and staff to get off in case of an emergency. Not that that's gonna happen. You'll do a full safety briefing on your first afternoon here on the ship about what to do in case of an emergency so that everyone is gonna get off the ship nice and safe if they have to. They just called out over the PA that the next group for Zodiac cruising is almost ready to go. Now to go out on the Zodiacs, you need a couple of things. First thing you need is waterproof pants. It is mandatory and essential to go out on the Zodiacs because there's a chance that you could get water splash up and wet you. Next thing you need is a waterproof jacket for the same reason. Don't worry, the jackets are supplied. The other thing that you need are mud boots. Now they're already with us, they're gonna be down in the mud room, so we're gonna go down and get changed before we jump on the Zodiac. And that is essentially what you need to get on the Zodiac. And then, if you're like us, you're gonna bring a whole bunch of camera gear. So, we've already pre-packed our bags, got all our lenses, extra batteries, spare SD cards, they're all empty. Right now we're in the storage hold where they actually keep all the Zodiacs and the kayaks and all the equipment that you need to actually do shore landings. So they keep them here undercover and no matter what the conditions are, they can get them off the ship nice and quick and easy using these cranes and gantries and get them back on. They can also deploy them on the port, starboard or stern. So it doesn't matter which way the wind's coming from, they're gonna get them off nice and safe. So for every trip you go out on the Zodiac, you need a PFD, a personal flotation device. And your these key little card. key cards, they scan you when you get off the boat and then when you get back on the boat. That way mm. they can keep track of all the guests, make sure they don't leave anyone behind yeah. and just keep safe out there. Hello, Laura. Thank you. Get off the Zodiac cruises, the Quark Expeditions crew have some delicious hot drinks ready to go to keep you nice and refreshed and warm you up after the expeditions. Andika here has some apple cinnamon, cinnamon tea. Yes, apple cinnamon tea. Thank you so much, my friend. Salamat. Salamat. Oh, delicious. Just what you need. Quark Expeditions have not one but two helicopters here on board the Ultramarine and this is where you come to get ready and do your helicopter briefings before jumping in the choppers and heading off for some adventures. You'll find out a lot more about it when you join one of their expeditions but trust us when we say it is an experience you are never going to forget. Thanks for watching our review video of Quark Expedition's newest ship, the MV Ultramarine. As you can see, it offers a fantastic blend of luxury and adventure, so if you've ever wanted to travel to Antarctica or the Arctic, you won't find a better ship to hit the open seas than the Ultramarine.